What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, I am Liz and I make lifestyle, minimalism, and zero waste types of videos here on this channel. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Today's video is the first part in a fall capsule wardrobe planning series that I have planned for my channel. If you guys have been following me for a while, you have seen every season I've done a different capsule wardrobe. I've done one for spring, summer, fall, and winter. And I've done this for about two years now, so I've got a pretty good handle on how to create a capsule wardrobe. So I wanted to start off this season's capsule videos a little bit more in depth for those of you more interested in learning about capsule wardrobes and kind of seeing my process, how I build mine, and kind of the steps that I go through. Step one is to look back on your previous capsule. For me, that is my summer capsule. And I like to kind of go through and analyze things that either I really loved wearing or things that I didn't wear hardly at all. I also like to analyze and see if there were any gaps in my wardrobe, if there were items where I was like, you know, I really need a basic white tee, which is an example of something I am looking for, is just a basic white fitted t-shirt. And I'll kind of take things into account for next summer's capsule, and sometimes I'll even write things down to remind myself for next summer by looking at what you already have, taking some inventory, and then we can move on to step two. So my next step is to pin inspiration. Before I start taking things out or adding things in, I just go onto my Pinterest board and I have kind of talked about my Pinterest board before and how to kind of find your style, which I will link in the cards because I think it's definitely important to pinpoint your exact style if you're gonna create a capsule wardrobe. So for now, we want to kind of look at stuff that we pinned previously and just make adjustments. I delete a few things, I add a couple of things, and Pinterest is really a great tool to help you get a visual idea of what you want your capsule to look like. Next, I pull all of my clothes that are in storage out and I go through everything. This is usually when I film my seasonal declutter. I like to declutter my clothes every season. Sometimes I get rid of nothing. Sometimes I get rid of quite a few things. I just like to continually declutter my clothing to make sure that I'm keeping things that I love and wear and replacing items when necessary. So this is when I take out my storage and I just look through it. It's kind of like shopping in your own clothes. You can kind of pick out the things that you want to uh, wear for fall. So after I've analyzed my current capsule, I've pinned some new inspiration on what I'm looking for this fall, and I've gone through all of my clothes that were in storage. It's time to create a wish list, and these are items where you're just missing. You're missing, say, a jacket or a particular sweater, something you pinned on Pinterest that you really want to include in your capsule. Create a wish list, write it down, anything from shoes to jewelry. I'll kind of give you guys some examples and share types of things that are on my wish list for this fall. Um, number one is a long black or camel colored coat and this is going to kind of go into winter as well because this is a piece that I plan on wearing in the fall and the winter so if I can't find it in the fall I'll also look in the winter but I'm just looking for a very long um, preferably secondhand, I'll put a picture on screen of what I'm talking about. I'm also looking for gray and brown blazers and I'll also include some photos. I really like the look of just a nice fitted blazer, a little bit oversized over some sweaters or turtlenecks. I think it's a really easy look to pull off but it just looks so polished and classy and it's also very comfortable and versatile for the fall. So after I've created my wish list, I start going through my current capsule and figuring out the things that I want to keep. So I don't take everything out and create a whole new capsule. I kind of take 
items out and leave I tend to leave basics behind and I kind of wear those in every capsule. So a couple of the things that I'm going to keep in this current capsule are my culottes, um, just like my black basic culottes. I'm also going to keep my basic t-shirts and my basic button-ups like this one um, and I have a white one and they're just basic easy button-ups and I usually tend to keep those in all seasons as well. I'm also going to be keeping um, all my denim jeans, I might just swap out for some darker colored denim and my denim mini skirt. So after you've taken everything out that you want to put away for the season and you've left what you want to keep, it's time to start building your capsule by adding the things in from your storage. So assuming that you've already went through all of those clothes when you decluttered and you kind of picked out what you wanted to put back, it's time to hang those things up or fold them and put them away. And at that point you have pretty much built your capsule aside from the items that you put on your wish list which brings me to my next tip which is to shop secondhand first as your first option whether that be at thrift stores online thrifting for like Poshmark, ThreadUp, Depop, I'll have all of those websites linked down below. Um, that's if you don't have any thrift stores in your area. By shopping secondhand for your capsule, you won't be spending as much money on your capsule. You're also shopping more consciously. And then second, if I can't find specific items, I shop ethically. I will leave a few of my favorite ethical stores that I will probably be getting a few pieces from this season. Shopping ethically is usually my last resort because it is a little bit more expensive, but I definitely know that the pieces I buy ethically are going to last me for a long time. So usually if it's an item that I really, really, really want, I feel comfortable buying new because I've been looking for it. I know I really want it after still looking for it. I can't find it. Kind of at that point, you know you really are going to wear that item. That is it. After you've filled the gaps in your wardrobe from the items on your wish list, you have successfully created a capsule wardrobe. So these are going to be the steps that I'm going to be taking this season to create my fall capsule wardrobe and I will be including a few more videos in this series to kind of take you along the journey with me. So be sure to check out for those videos if you are interested. But that's going to be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in my next video.